to the inside. Oh, and Deno goes down. Oh, a huge one. Oh, he comes short. Looks like, oh my goodness, just got ejected from the bike. There's another look. Watch. Boom, he comes up way short. Nothing he could do at that point. And red flag. You know, he's in between two lanes. Yeah, so they can't they, get to yeah, him. Yeah, they can't get to him and get him off the track. Crucial for that main event is also less wear and tear on your mechanics. Out of our Suzuki highlights the big event of qualifying, really. Mike Gregg taking Mike Kudrowski's rear fender off in the dash for the first turn. Kudrowski carried on, but Mike Gregg grimaced in pain. The shoulder injury taking Gregg out of the race. Number 33, Tony Amaradio, also felt the sting of the mishap, but it would be Gregg who wouldn't get up off the ground for some time. Oh, he comes up way short on the triple. Looked like he was holding his left hand, possibly. Taking a look at 250D class off the road. Jock into that BP Racing Fuel. Holds oh, up. Tyler. Mercy sake. Oh, line. yeah. Things getting interesting early in this one, Rodney Tomlin. It is the number 18 out in front. Landon Gordon, the 79. Living GP race two is go. And Van Horvick gets squeezed. And it's Tony Cairoli again. Oh! Charlie A goes over the bars. So too does Stephen Lenoir, Valtteri Malin. And Charlie A, uh, sorry, Stephen Lenoir, he knows he's got a problem as well. Tough luck for the Frenchman. Oh no! Fortner down again! He was running third! Let's take a look as he goes to jump through the first set of works. Oh! His, his right oh. hand comes off the bars straight away. And Jeff, watch the bike come after him. his helmet and see if he's all right. Whoa, somebody catching. Yeah. Wow. Getting blown off course there. In the wind, blown from right to left. Now, it looks like the number 34 is right behind Kyle? Kylie Stallings right now. Whoa, and Stallings does a full oh. helicopter. On that number 930. Oh no, way clipped and goes down hard. And actually, it caught Dennis as well. Oh, way came up short, comes up short. Maybe when he. Oh, that's a big hit. Looks like his feet got caught in the handlebars. Now, on to the 51 CC 4 to 8 limited class. Well, podium contention at this point, as they. That's not going to be the way that it stays. 
Uh, Beckham Smith were Piper Carver Coons and Caitlin Lane, respectively. Oh, man down! Big, big crash that! Immediately holding his shoulder. You can see the rip on the race shirt there as well. Watch this. Edge right there. Boom. No way back from that. Van der Mostijk takes a hard hit. Good reaction, so from Langenfelder. Extremely strong cardio vacuum. Cardio oh, Hunter Lawrence goes for a run and down hard on the downhill. Sexton has taken the lead. Can he get back up and recover? Left hand side of your screen. Watch how it steps out. And as it steps out, then his front end goes sideways and his right side of his hand falls off the uh, handlebar, JT. Yeah, you're exactly right. It was that first mistake that threw his body language off. With 45 wins under his belt, Stewart has the most. Just one whoop and things oh. go sideways. Oh no, no. The duel of the Kuneri Riders coming together. Oh. Now that, that looked to be Ikshan Chanberg has gone down all by himself. Bottom line is you and your dad started. He didn't have to start. Oh, wow. Who was that going off the side? His hands come off the handlebar. Now that was number 99, Billy Wynn. It's a Billy car. <laughs> Classic hand came off the handlebars on landing. Uh, down he went. Well, the 125 action getting a good start. Number 22, Ryan Hughes, and uh, Mike Metzger, number 85, lands on his head backwards. The Heat winner in one of the Heats. Damon Huffman's also down. Dave Pendry is also in that mess. Number 90, big time, 85 down. Metzger just pogos right into Damon Huffman. They both took horrendous licks. You can throw a blanket over these riders here. Trying to pick up, oh, a rider and two riders have gone down just out of the left-hand side of our eyesight there. We will have a restart and the complete total amount of this race. And we got a crash here. It's a Jalik Small, I believe. Oh. And what happens? He just nipped the guy's back wheel, and now he's in a bad spot. It looks like maybe just looking at his shoulder, something with his right arm. Already, oh, and whipped into the ground. All right, Rodney Tallman here. Just kidding, Mikey Waynes and Megawatt up here in the announcing tower. Oh, we had a rider go down. Oh, and I believe, I believe that was Drew Adams. And then big crash here for the 753 of Patrick Masato. Uh-oh, big huckabuck, and he grabs a handful and goes oh, over the bar. Man. Wow. Well, it was a pretty wild ride for Aaron Plessinger, and I think he just committed in and once he kind of lost his traction, maybe like the third or fourth wolf, he made it to the last wolf, but that was it. I haven't seen it. See it. No, oh! Uh -oh. oh! Oh! That is not good right there. This is Saturday qualifying and a horrific crash. Alan Holland landing on top of Sweden's Joachim Carlsen. Carlsen amazingly escaping without serious injury. Here's the Maritime crash, and the gate is down. This was the difference, as you can see. He doesn't get the rebound. The bike doesn't kick like he was thinking, but and he comes up way short. I'm just surprised that he went for it that early in the race, considering that he was out front. Everybody else is asking you how you're feeling, so how are you? Feeling like shit, but we'll see how it goes. Best of luck. Be safe. Sorry for the language, people, but that's the honesty. Yeah, honesty sometimes the best policy. Now we know. I'm not going to quote him on that, but uh, folks, remember it at home. Here's your.